Good morning, people. Right, um, Monday morning, 5.55 in the morning, first trade in the bag. Um, cautious, um, closed it manually because it's getting so near the top of the hour now. And uh, don't want to be, that's my, my rule, do not uh, want to be in the trade at the top of the hour. Um, that was my uh, target support level, tested as resistance potentially. Um, here's the trade. Just short of six pips net of spread. That's uh, where I expect it to go to. Um, the pivot, but as you know, I do not want to carry my trades through the top of the hour because you tend to get a big pullback and then potential to attack the level. That's an important uh, lesson really price never goes in a straight line that's for a scalper of course if you're a swing trader then you don't mind you just accept that it goes up down up down and so on and so forth uh, scalping you're in and out quick that's what I am so um, yeah a few levels on the charts forget that lot that's from a previous uh, I think it's from last night's uh, uh, chart study the weekly reversals that I did the previous video to this one <coughs> which will be an interesting second video um, in a while but um, but um, currently just a few levels on these charts daily high we can see the daily this is an important thing I don't mention enough as well getting your ducks in a row with your um, simple histogram on every time frame so I'm not quite sure what the weekly was yeah the weekly was green as well but we should be thinking about short but you can clearly see this is a long pullback then uh, previous uh, day had closed green that's positive for the long side and we were attacking the high of this daily candle here uh, which is currently 65.47 17 pips away from the price at the moment H4 simply you can see that massive uh, push up two minutes to go to the end of H4 another reason not to really want to hold this to the top of the hour um, yeah H4 doing exactly the same closed green in the previous hour busted through the 20 that's a good sign for the long side so very straightforward uh, common sense trading to be honest with you H1 doesn't show anything different rising H uh, rising candles of course above the daily pivot uh, attacking uh, R2 which is my potential area of target I think this will probably continue on the daily uh, uh, is above the daily open. That's all that one shows you there, that indicator. Don't use it as much. This was the instigator of today's trade, plus the price action analysis. And, of course, uh, this beautiful, beautiful RSI histo alert, free indicator. So everything you can see is on this chart is free, which is why I um, divine, uh, devised it. Uh, what else? So I could share everything for free, that is, no charge. I'm here to help, especially in lockdown now. Uh, what have we got going on? Nothing. Yeah, just rising. Massive um, momentum uh, push with these candles on the M30. I like M30, actually. And what else? M15, well, previous candle had broken the red. I would have liked it to have broken a previous green to be really, really behind this trade, but uh, there was no reason not to uh, have a bash prior to the 6 a.m. candle. I do think this might continue on up, but saying that, I, what I think is not what I trade, it's what I see on the charts, and uh, it's telling me to get out of the price, uh, get out of the trade, because the hourly candle is going to swap over. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. is a tricky one because uh, I personally don't think they would reverse it prior to the Frankfurt Open. Frankfurt being 7 o'clock, I reckon they'll push it on up for the next hour. Might pull it back a little bit for the hourly change now. Push it on up by 7 o'clock up to the R2. Potentially then pull it down and continue on up. You've got the... Uh, 
half round number there as well 6550 and then obviously up higher 66 and R3 so um, all the higher time frames are saying this should continue longer higher there's the drawdown that I don't want to be involved in uh, as a scalper so um, that's it guys first trade of the week first trade of the day and uh, it's uh, made more than I require for a week uh, for a day trading so I could stop now and go away and play golf or official day or whatever so uh, thank you for watching and have a great week and there it is pulling back to uh, now I'd be in zero profit well probably half a pip or something back to my entry that's why I don't like being involved in trades at the change of the hour yeah get back in if this breaks that yellow uh, line there that uh, H4 high funny how it hit it again to the pip this is price action trading for you guys precision price action trading anyway thanks for watching have a good day